All right, hey everybody, this is Patrick, Hobby God, and we have another Tutorial Tuesday. So this trick was requested to me on YouTube, and it is the Takeshi Bounce Yo-Yo trick. I'm also throwing in another element, which is very similar, just kind of the opposite, which I learned from Joseph Chung. And for this tutorial, I'll be using the Circle City Yo-Yo's Hero, and I'll be using Airtech Slim Strings. So check those out. Without further ado, this is what the trick looks like. All right, so those are what the two different elements look like. So we will start with the Takeshi trick. So first things first, make sure that your string tension is good. There we go. Second things, you wanna make sure that you know how to do the trick magic drop. It looks like this. The a rejection trick. I'm sure there's a bunch of different um, tutorials on YouTube for that. So, and it's really important to know them for both of the tricks that we're going to learn today. All right, so once you learn that trick, you're going to do a magic drop, but instead of landing on the front string or the back string, you're going to go over your non-throw hand finger. So it'll look like this, just like that. And once you get there, you're just going to under cut or under pass that, um, the string furthest away from you. So you should be in this mat right here. Here. You're gonna drop the thing or the string on your throw hand pointer finger. So I'm in my trapeze. I magic drop over my non throw hand finger. I undercut and then I drop this finger right here. When you're here, make sure you catch this other string with your uh, non throw hand thumb because this is what sets up the slack for the next part. So again, magic drop over, drop that. Keep this thumb here for the slack. And now basically what you're doing here is you're going to pinch these two fingers, your, th your non-throw hand pointer and middle finger. And what you're going to do is you're going to um, roll onto that string. So this string right here. And then as you do that, you're making a circular motion with your throw hand pointer finger to get that slack over like this. Okay, so that's definitely the toughest part of that trick is that and actually ending up landing it into that slack. So we're here. You wanna make sure these are um, pinched tight cause you don't want that string to go anywhere. And then also you have to make a little circular motion to roll that string with your um, throw hand pointer finger. You should end up in something like this. And then what I like to do is, there's two different ways to do this. You either pull up on this string like that to get into the mount which I used in my first tutorial. I don't know if you've seen it. It was my first tutorial from this summer. It was the fun GT trick. So that trick looked like this. And I would just push that up to land here into my triangle. So you could do that same thing where if you're here, you could just push it there. And that works for some people. I don't prefer that way for this trick. Um, it's just a preference for me. I am, I like to, um, especially when I'm going faster, I like to pull my hands apart. So I'm basically kind of just pulling my hands apart when I do it. So I'm here, I'm here. I pull my hands apart and it gets a similar, um, a similar ending. It really, it just takes practice and aiming to get onto the actual um, string. So that bounce part, it just takes practice to land it back into that string. Like that. So, one more time. 
so fast. Sometimes you land it backwards, you'll get into this um, just a basic uh, undermount. So again, go here and push this string up. Wow, there's a lot of wind. <laughs> All right, so I'm sorry if you hear that. Apologies. We are in the middle of a storm. <laughs> so again, you can just push like that, or you can just do the pull up and pull down, like I showed before. And that is the Takeshi bounce trick. Um, it takes a bunch of practice. Ooh, uh, see my lights flicker. <laughs> Anyway, you've seen that. Um, so now we're going to learn the other trick, which I learned from Joseph Chung from G2, which is kind of the same idea, but I think this one's a lot easier to learn. I maybe should have started off with this one, but hindsight 2020. So again, make sure that your string tension is good. Perfect. And again, you're going to get onto this trapeze. You're going to get, you're going to wrap your finger for the magic drop, but you're going to catch it to just start with this loop. And again, so it's basically just like skipping a few steps for the Takeshi bounce. You're just going to start right there. And that again, that's going to set up the slack. So right here, catch that. And then you're going to swing it up, pinch here, and then roll it. From there, you can do whatever you want. My trick, I come here. Like that. So one more time, we got our trapeze. Wrap this around, catch the thumb, and then same idea, you want to roll it over, and as you roll it, you want to make a circular motion with this finger. So, like that. And then there's a bunch of different things you could do here. I like to pop it off and then reject. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of different things you could do. So again, this, that was a really simple one compared to the Takeshi Bounce, but it's a good uh, segue into learning the Takeshi Bounce, I think. So thank you for watching. This is Hobby God. If you have any questions or if you want anything, um, if you want anything to be made into a tutorial, just DM me on Instagram, on YouTube, uh, whatever you want to do, and I will be sure to get to it. Okay, this is Hobby God. Um, peace.